Hi everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars. I'm here today to talk about choosing the best replacement fret wire for your guitar. So to choose frets that are the same size as those in the original guitar, you need to measure the frets first. And um, when you're measuring frets, the fret has two parts. So it has a tang and a crown. You don't need to worry about the tang so much. The tang width is pretty universal and most fret wires will fit most fret boards, especially our fret wires. And the tang height, uh, that's concealed inside the fret board so you don't need to worry about that. You need to really focus on the crown height, and which is this one, and the crown width. And that way the frets will match the original ones. So to measure that crown height and width, the best tool is the Luthiers Digital Caliper. I've got my shop set here. Now you can either measure the, the fret if you've pulled it out of the guitar, the loose fret, or you can measure the fret in the guitar. So to measure the loose fret, it has this little groove here that fits over the tang, and that allows you to just measure the height of the fret or of the crown. So you can measure that and also the width. So that's very easy if you've got a loose fret. If you don't have a loose fret and you're measuring the guitar with the frets in it, uh, it's a slightly different process. The width is pretty much the same. So I'm gonna measure the frets in this arch top guitar and try to match some fret wire up to them. So the width of that fret you can see is pretty close to 2.63 millimeters. Now, if you're working in inches, it's the same process. It's just, um, we're working in metric here. The caliper can be changed over to, to Imperial if you want. Now to measure the height of the fret, we're gonna use the other end and it's got this, this height probe here. And it's also got a little notch there and that fits over the fret. So you'll be able to measure the difference between the end of the caliper and that probe. So I'm gonna fit that, uh, first of all, actually I'll zero off the caliper so I'll just push down on a flat surface, hit zero. And then when I fit it over the fret here, you can see that's pushing on that probe and that's gonna tell us the exact width. So we've got uh, exact height, sorry. I'll just do that again. And then, okay, so I've got about 1.1 millimeters. Write that down. So now we just need to choose some fret wire that matches those measurements. I'm on our website here and I've got the nickel fret wires up. So I'm gonna choose the one that matches that the best. So I start by looking at the width of the crown. So we're after 2.63 or something close to that. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly right. Now this 149 here, you can see it's exactly 2.63. So that's perfect. If it was a little off, that would be still okay. The difference isn't going to be visible. Height wise, the 149 is 1.16 millimeters. Now we measured 1.1, but that's actually good that it's a little taller than the original frets because when you dress the frets down, it's actually going to make them a bit lower. So that one should be about perfect. That would be the one I'd choose if I was doing a refret on this guitar. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, for more luthier related tips and new products.